Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The world has witnessed the war between Armenia and Azerbaijan. The extensive use of drones was the main reason Azerbaijan won and the Armenian infantry was more like sitting duck fried by the drone attack. China and Pakistan has now been increasing their fleet of drones. However, India is no Armenia. The drones can be useful only for intelligence gathering, surveillance and reconnaissance. In combat, they can be used only where there are minimal to no air defense. In contrary, India has layered air defense system with short range to long range and very soon S-400 will be added to our inventory. However, there is one special type of drone that India needs badly and it's a lot bring munitions. Drone. A lottery munition drone, also known as suicide drone or kamikaze drone, is a weapon system category in which munition lotters around the target area for some time, searches for target and then attack once target is located. These drones can be used for many tactical operations even in area guarded heavily via air defense systems. Their small size and large numbers can overwhelm and saturate the air defense system rendering them completely useless. They can be used in SEAD that is suppression of enemy air defense along with Rafales and Brahmos. Apart from that, the lottery munition can be nightmare for tanks, infantry and artilleries. Now coming to today's update, the Indian Army has contracted the joint venture between Bengaluru based Alpha Design Technology and Israel's Elbit system for the supply of 100 plus units of Sky Striker lottery munition. Elbit system's Sky Striker is a cost effective lottery munition that is capable of long range, precise tactical strikes. The technology enabled Sky Striker improves performance, situational awareness, and survivability by providing direct fire aerial precision capabilities to maneuverable troops and special forces. The Sky Striker is a fully autonomous UAS that can locate, acquire and strike operator designated targets with a 5 kg warhead installed inside the fuselage enabling high precision performance. It can reach a target area located 20 km away within 10 minutes. The drone has a strike range of over 100 plus kilometers. It has a dual seeker with a day and night capability. The UAS electric propulsion offers a minimal acoustic signature allowing covert operation at low altitude operation. It can also carry armor piercing munition to destroy tanks. It has 360 degree attack capability. The UAS has an endurance of up to 2 hours and autonomous navigation during cruising and lottery phase. It can track targets both day and night using its high quality camera and it can abort its mission at last moment if needed. The best part of it is that it can be recovered and safely landed and reused later. As a silent, invisible and surprise attacker, Sky Striker delivers the utmost in precision and reliability providing critical advantage in the modern battlefield. This Sky Striker can also be used to conduct surgical strike. In my opinion, this is the drone that Indian Army needs to change the course of warfare and it is the most welcome decision by Army. However, what do you think about this new Kamakazi drone? Please let us know. Talking about this deal, Indian Army has signed a contract worth Rs 100 crore on Wednesday for acquisition of 100 plus Sky Striker. The Alpha Albert joint venture has already manufactured and exported 100 such drones and has export order for another 100. Alpha Design owns 51% stake in the joint venture. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.